Okay. Looks like we're live. Awesome. Um, thank you, everybody that's been waiting. Uh, so today, we've got a special thing for you. We've got uh, education lead Emil Lucas joining us uh, on the Gravity Sketch team. And um, today, we just wanted to talk about CoLab really quick and show all of you how you can get started with CoLab and how you can um, get, it, get using it with your friends, your colleagues. Um, it's pretty simple. And um, yeah, just wanted to show everybody that sort of the workflow and maybe get some people inspired on on people they can invite, uh, things they could do. So yeah, without further ado, um, Emil, do you want to just do a, like a, maybe a quick introduction and a little bit about what you do at Gravity Sketch? Yeah, hey guys. Um, my name's Emil. I'm in industrial design with a focus on automotive design. I graduated from CCS and on Gravity Sketch, I'm part of the customer success team and the education team. So for the EDU team, we just try and seed Gravity Sketch in some of the best universities around the world. And then on the customer team, we work with new and existing customers so that they can understand how to use Gravity Sketch in their workflow. Awesome, great. Yeah, glad to have you. And um, in, in case you haven't met me before, uh, I'm, I'm Jaron and I basically get to talk with all of you and connect with all of you out there in the community. So um, if you have any questions um, about the process, about CoLab, just um, ask it in the chat and we'll be happy to answer your questions. So please feel free to, to do that. I'll be checking it throughout the process. Um, but without further ado, I'll just jump right into um, how you get started with CoLab. And so uh, I will switch my tab here to landing pad. So I believe everybody can see, can see that. Um, so CoLab, uh, oh, you might have actually been, oh, no, never mind. I was wondering if you could see my screen or not. Okay. So this is landing pad, and essentially to activate um, your room, if you haven't done so already, is that you will be going to uh, your workspace. So if you look at the top left of the page, you should see your name and workspace, and that will be um, basically all of your um, all of your files. So if you go to the rooms tab here. This is actually where you're going to manage um, people that you invite to your room. And this is also where you'll be able to see rooms that other people have invited you to. So um, you can already see that there's a few gray doors here. These are other people's personal collab rooms that um, have given me access to their room. And so if I click on this, um, I can choose to remove it. I can remove myself from the room. Um, so that's the cool thing about CoLab now being out for everyone is um, you do only have your one personal room, but uh, if you have friends or colleagues and they have Gravity Sketch and they've invited you to their room, you could potentially have an infinite amount of rooms to, to do collaborative work in. They just won't always be your space. Um, so you do have your one CoLab room, which is of course is, is this one here. This is my CoLab room. So if I click on this, um, you can see I already have someone uh, access to here. I got FinRush here, but I'm going to go ahead and add Emil to uh, my list of co-creators here, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you just basically click on this button over here that says invite, um, you just go ahead and start typing in their email. So I'm going to type in email at gravitysketch.com. Click that, and you can add a whole list of emails in here. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click send. Um, I'll briefly touch on this. So for the business version, you do have the ability to add people that have different levels of access, um, namely view only or reviewer. So there's different levels there. But for, for the general community, it's just um, co-creator. So that means if you invite this person to your room, that means that they now have the power to do uh, everything that you can do in your room. So creating geometry, deleting things, making new layers, deleting things, hiding things. Um, basically, they have as much power as you do. Um, and so basically understand that anybody you invite, it's almost like a virtual studio. That's how I like to explain it is um, if you have a physical studio space, maybe you have some ground rules, you know, maybe don't touch this project or... 
um, you know, only work with these layers. So um, we encourage you, all of you in the community to, to come up with some ground rules for yourselves on how you want to govern uh, the virtual space. So I'm just going to click send. And now Emil is added to my, my room. And we are going to now switch over to VR. And Emil will be able to join me in VR. So um, let's go ahead and just swap, switch over here. Okay. All righty. got a shoe in here. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and hide this, and create a new layer. And so Emil, you should be able to um, join me now. I've invited you to the room. Um, let me go ahead and put on smooth head cam for this as well. Yeah, checking now, what's the org name again? It should just be my personal room. So if you just go to Colab, um, actually, let me show people that process real quick. I think I that's probably important to show. So um, I think I just press, okay, here we go. So you can see this menu here. Uh, when you fire up Gravity Sketch, you'll see uh, the lobby and you'll see Landing Pad Colab right here in the lobby. So if you go ahead and click on that, um, you should see your space. Basically, this is a VR version of what you see on landing pad. So these are all the rooms of other people that have invited me to their room. Um, and then, of course, the one with the crown is your own personal room. And uh, I'm just going to click on that. I see one in there, so that means Emil is already inside. And so there's Emil, and we are now together in CoLab. So... It's as simple as that. Just go and add as many people as you want, as long as they have a landing pad email and have Gravity Sketch. Um, you can join with them in VR. So now we can pretty much just take questions. Um, we really just wanted to show how easy the process was, is just inviting people uh, and encourage all of you out there to, uh, to, to get working and, and creating with uh, other people in VR. So, um, oops, looks like it went away there. Let's see here. Oh. One second. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay, we're back. All right. Okay, so question from Trans Transputer. My question is, how do you move around the model in collab mode? So, um, I think are you, if you're asking about how you navigate the space, um, it's it's just like a regular gravity sketch uh, sketch room. So. Uh, really, it's the same, um, except you, the only difference is that now there's someone in the room with me. So um, you can see Emil is just sketching around uh, some mannequins here. Um, but basically, I use the grip triggers on my controller to kind of, I guess, we call it swimming. So we, I'm just swimming around the VR space. Um, and basically, yeah, it's the same as a regular gravity sketch room. Um, I'm, I think that's what you were asking. Let me know if that's not quite what you were asking. Um, let's see. 
how do you move around the model in collab mode? Now, um, maybe you were asking about the different review modes. I, I don't know, uh, but maybe that's something worthwhile um, to touch on. But uh, if, you're, if you're not a co-creator, but maybe you're just a viewer, um, <clears throat> you'll still be able to come into VR and, and, and look around like this, but you just won't be able to do anything. Like if I go like this and put my selection sphere into the stroke, it actually won't highlight. It'll just be, you know, uneditable essentially. So I won't be able to change anything or delete anything or make anything. Um, I'll just be able to basically look around. Um, and uh, we do actually have um, a 2D version of CoLab that we are testing right now. Um, and we're, we're still working out the kinks and doing a lot of research into how we can make that better and improve it. Um, but maybe we can showcase a little bit of that today, uh, maybe if people are interested. Um, but this would be a way for people to join in CoLab without actually having to jump into VR, which would be, which would be really nice. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions around CoLab or um, maybe there was something unclear on how to use it or how to access it, feel free to ask. Happy to answer any of your questions. And it's kind of an open form at this point. Um, right now we're using Meets actually for audio, but their um, audio does come through on, uh, on CoLab. So in VR, you can actually see Emil, he's talking. That's probably because my voice is coming through on his side. But that's what you'll see when, basically, when uh, when he's talking to me in VR, you'll see his mouth move, his his headset be highlighted, um, and so you can hear people in VR. So you don't need to join a, a meets call or a Zoom call or anything to hear anyone. Um, if we go over to the online users here at the bottom of the menu, um, this is the menu that you'll be using if you're in CoLab, and um, this is a great way to see everybody that's in the scene. Um, right now, Emil's king of the scene because actually he was the first person to join or, or hop into the room um, before me. And so basically what the king does is they have the ability to change the environment and a few like environment settings. Um, actually, sorry, I'm the king. This means I can give Emil the crown. <laughs> so I want to clear that up. So actually, I'm the king of the scene. You can see it's indicated here above my icon. But if I want to give Emil control over the environment, I can just click this little button and he would be able to then change the environment. So um, he'll probably do that there. Yeah. So Emil is changing the color of the environments and, and everything, which is really great. Also, if I don't know where Emil is, like, you know, because essentially the VR space is, uh, is almost infinite, um, I can just go ahead and click on Emil's name and then it will teleport me behind uh, his avatar and I can see exactly what he's doing, what he's looking at. Um, so it's really useful, especially with larger scenes. Um, and you know, see Emil's like really tiny. And so say I'm like way over here and I just don't know where anyone is. I'm just gonna click on Emil's name. And it'll take me right to where he's at, right where he's working. Um, another thing is if you have multiple uh, sources for microphones. You can click this little drop down, and this is a great way to select the correct device. Um, make sure that you're using the right audio input. Um, you also might notice that I'm seeing exactly what Emil's doing on his menus. So, um, and this is just a simple switch here. So, it's share UI. So, this means that Emil can see what I'm doing, I can see what he's doing. <clears throat> and so, if you want to learn, or um, uh, this is a great way we think that in, co in CoLab, uh, you know, for people that are a little bit more experienced, this is a great way to teach um, maybe new joiners um, how to access certain things in the menu, how to do certain things. So if there's something in the menu and I just don't know where it is, you know, Emil can go like, hey, sh check it out. You know, here's, here's where it's at. Click that button. Yeah, just like he's doing there. And I can see exactly where it's at. I can replicate that myself and start doing it. So it's a great way to learn and see exactly what someone's doing, or if they have like a new workflow, um, you can see exactly how they approach it. Um, and then uh, back on the microphone subject, this is actually where you can switch your microphone on or off. Um, and so basically, uh, we recommend that you turn this off if you're using um, something other than a VR, if you're using like a Zoom call or a Meets call like what we're doing. Um, we recommend that you just turn this microphone off. 
it makes things a lot easier on everybody that's involved. Um, but this is what you would actually want to turn on if you want to hear people in VR. And this is pretty much the, um, the online user's interface. Uh, I can actually disable uh, Emil's UI if I want specifically. So if I specifically want to not see his UI, I can do that and click this little button. Um, let me check for any questions. Let's see here. Would he have to change it back? Mighty Quinn VR, you asked, what do you have to change it back? I'm not sure. Um, oh, maybe you're asking about the King feature. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what you're asking there. Um, basically, once I give Emil the crown, he would have to then give me the crown back uh, if I wanted to regain access. Um, and so he, he'll do that there himself. And now I actually have the crown again and I can start changing the environment, um, you know, changing the colors of, you know, the floor or oh yeah, the ceiling up there, changing the colors. So um, I don't know if that's what you were asking there, but let's see. Awesome, great, yeah. I guess that was your question. So yeah. Um, so this is CoLab. <laughs> you know, it's basically everything that's um, standard with Gravity Sketch with the addition of being able to do it with other people. Um, and so you can invite your friends, your colleagues, and just get working. We've done so many of these CoLab sessions now, um, everything from training um, customers to just getting together for some fun collaborative work, um, having conversations while in VR. Like, Sometimes we've joined in VR and we don't actually don't really even, we don't really have anything in specific that we're making, but um, we're joining in VR to talk. But, you know, while we're talking, we're kind of just like, you know, what Emil's doing, he's just like making this fun, like bird character, which is like awesome. Um, and so it's just, it's just a great space to do anything creative. Um, it's really only the limit of, of your imagination, really. So um, it's available today. It's, it's free. Um, again, I'll just go over the bullet points. Um, everybody gets one room with CoLab, but, um, but everybody that invites you to their room is another room you have access to in CoLab, so you can have a potential infinite amount of rooms to use in CoLab. Um, you can also invite as many people as you want to your room, so I can invite like 50 people to have access to this one room. Um, however, it's important to note that um, you, you, the room will max out at four individuals for any one session. So there might be 50 people that have access to the room, but um, only four total could be in here at any one time working. Um, that's just to keep the load off of, uh, off the servers and, and make sure everything's working properly for everyone, make sure everything's working um, reliably and things aren't getting too, too stuttered. Um, maybe this cap will be increased um, as technology develops in the future. So it's definitely not, I don't think it's going to stay that way. But for now, it's just four max per, per session. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, if you have any last minute questions, um, this wasn't really meant to be a super long session. We just wanted to show everybody like how you can get started with CoLab and how you can get into it. Um, and some of the just basic features of, you know, the online users menu and things like that. Um, if anybody has any parting questions that they'd like to ask, um, feel free to shoot it in the comments. Um, if you're watching this not live, you know, still put it in the comments where we're happy to answer your questions. Um, so if you joined late too, this will be, you know, this will be available as soon as the live is over. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone um, for joining. We're really excited about this feature. I think, I think giving this to the whole community. Um, is going to just empower everybody to create and, and to do more. We, we've found from our research that um, giving collab to everyone is, I think, just going to compound everything about Gravity Sketch. So it that means everything from the amount of stuff, you know, in one sketch, it's going to compound because, you know, it's more people. Um, ideas will compound. Um, it, it's, it, it's all going to be great. So, uh, Emil, I don't know if you had anything you wanted to say or mention about collab. Um, Anything you wanted to mention or uh, or cover, something that I might have missed, um, or just maybe what you're excited about? No, 
No, no, nothing about the features specifically, but what I would say is that we've got a really good community on our Instagram. So find somebody that you want to collaborate with, message them on Instagram and, and, you know, see if, uh, if you guys can create something together. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Please join us on our Instagram, check out our socials. Um, yeah, some amazing work being done, uh, on there by the community. So, um, yeah, with that, I just thank you everyone for joining. Um, go try collab, go get some friends, find out who's, um, who's got gravity sketch, find out some of your friends that maybe aren't using gravity sketch, but would love to just like get together in VR and get them to, to, um, get a VR headset, download it and start working, um, together. So yeah, it's basically at the limit of, of whatever you, whatever you can dream up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, thank you everybody. And, um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye now.